poor Danny. But Tom's going next, and he's got a lot to prove too. He's making a sabayon, or zabaglioni, to help improve the balance of his dessert, which is based on heather honey with gooseberries, elderflowers and raspberries. It has to be whisked for at least 10 minutes. Hi oh boys, so I just pop in and see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, you smell nice. I don't know, Have you just been putting perfume on or what? No, I've just, uh, just, just freshened up a little bit. <laughs> you didn't have a shot of that, could you? Yeah. What are we doing here, anyway? Uh, Sabayon. Figure of eight, figure of eight. <laughs> Lovely. Hey. Uh, <laughs> scrambled <laughs> eggs. Get the toast. <laughs> Tom rescues his Sabayon, but there is that old saying about too many cooks spoiling things. He's marinating his berries in a special elderflower cordial. How are you, mate? How, How are nice. we? No, you've got to say it's good because it's my mother in law. Mm, wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mother in law. Well done, mother in law, yeah. Exactly. But your mother in law is Swedish. She's Swedish, yeah, you know, and um, up in Sweden, they've got this, uh, in the countryside, they've got everything. And she goes down and she picks the elderflowers and she makes her own cordial and everything. So you, you allowed one foreign ingredient you bring in for the mother in law? That's it, yeah. yeah. He reckons that the backing of both his family and his fellow countrymen could see him home here. Last dish of the uh, the menu, and um, hopefully the Scottish public are going to push me up into first there, you know, because I'd really yeah. like to represent Scotland up yeah, there. Yeah, and also the Northern Irish people, you know, they'll always lend their support to... That's it, yeah. The Scottish man, you know. Uh, well, that's it, maybe I should go for that angle. Tom's tweaks turn out to be more berries for the base, a warm sabayon sauce, and a larger honey parfait. So we just give it a wee gratinate around the sides there. OK, we get that up, big man. Yeah, you know. Looking good. There we go. We'll have to go quickly, then. Yeah. OK, off we go. Thank you very much. So hopefully there I've overemphasised that the honey is the most important part of this dish, you know. But didn't both Prue and Oliver say there was already too much honey? Let's see what they say now. <laughs> well, that's a bit different. Crikey. It certainly looks a lot nicer, doesn't I it? I feel like a sort of accusing finger pointing at me. Mm. You've got a lovely fierce mm. bite to it. Fruity, it is. It's the honey thing still. I mean, I know Scottish heather honey is, you know, God's gift to mankind, and yeah. but it remains to overpower the dish for me. Well, you know what I think? It must be a wonderful dish without the honey. It's extraordinary that something that apparently is so evanescent and so light mm. should have such a dominant flavour. It's one of those things that it's rather like the triangle in an orchestra. Yeah. It just cuts through absolutely oh, yeah. everything else. I, I just think it's it's lazy. Blackberries and heather honey, raspberries, heather honey. It is not no, necessarily... No, it's, not, it's not very exciting. I feel he should have done more. I think he would take something like a miracle, not unlike the raising of Lazarus, to get this into the gherkin. I, quite honestly, I think you've been far too kind to this pudding, right? It's you just vicious <laughs> beast! <laughs> it's horrible. It's terrible. I never want to have it again in my life. Bye-bye, pudding. Come on, boys, dig in. So let's find out what Tom's fellow chefs think. I can smell the um, heather. Can smell so, it? Come on. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Plenty of flavour. The, uh, the warm sabillon and, lovely, and the coldness mm, of the parfait. Mm. Parfait's the right texture. Yeah. Would you be happy to see that going out in the gherkin? <clears throat> I hope Tom didn't mind me saying this, because I think he's such a nice guy. And I think he'll agree, I just don't think it's modern enough. When you say it's not modern enough, do you mean the presentation or the yeah, actual... the presentation. The presentation. Yeah. Yeah, I could go.